Hi, it's John here. Uh, today is Wednesday, the 1st of June, 2016. Um, it's quite cold here in Auckland. I think it's sitting about 8 degrees or 7 degrees, something like that. But um, that was been the coldest today and yesterday. Um, and um, um, winter setting in. I just been to the gym this afternoon, and uh, I'm going there quite regularly now to um, up my health, uh, to try and uh, uh, get some oomph back into the old frame. But uh, I've abstained from taking uh, medication, the drugs, dreaded drugs, uh, for two days now, and I've noticed a big change in the way I'm feeling and not short breath um, because that was a big problem going to the gym and puffing like anything just walking from here down there um, so I've seen a big improvement on the um, cardio cycle and the strider and the treadmill the treadmill was sitting at 120 on the um, heart uh, reading and that's at six on the dial. Uh, it's quite fast, so a fast pace walk, uh, not quite running um, for 10 minutes. And uh, on the strider, it's sitting at 100 on the uh, blood pressure um, with a load of 10, a setting of 10, the same as the um, cycle, uh, the readings on the meter, the heart rate is sitting at 100 as well. Before it was lower, it was sitting at 75 to 85 with the drugs. And so it just shows that that uh, uh, medication does have a, a, a real effect on your performance and on the way you feel and also um, your breath and generally um, how you feel um, going on the machines and not really with it. Uh, now with uh, drug free um, I can very well say that it's made me feel a bit better. Um, we're going to see however uh, for a month um, without the medication to see how it stacks up. I'm allowed to go right up to 150 on the heart and most other people I've been watching and having a little sneak over and look and talk to them, they're sitting around 120, 130, 140. So um, that's at a working pace um, and so I'm not doing too bad on a steady reading of 120 on the treadmill. That's pretty pretty good. So I can say um, the next time, um, maybe next week, I'll step it up to an eight or a ten, and that's running. That's that's running um, to see what we come out at. Anyway, my friends, Moira, Rarua, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Thanks for the compliments. Um, I went to Middlemore today and got the teeth. They can't do much about it, so uh, it looks like Thailand it is, or somewhere where it's a bit cheaper than here to do teeth. One tooth here is 2800 That's to um, put the implants in, but I think it's better to do the whole art uh, so I can smile again. Um, actually, I'm not too bothered by how, what, how I look, as long as I get the message across. Now, the latest success... Um, John Key, I've got you on, on, on a subpoena with my barrister. I'm, I'm going to subpoena you because you caused all the trouble in your government to make that man come from overseas and um, run his crooked business through here, tax havens, through the Panama um, um, tax uh, dodging. So you are responsible. We're holding you liable. Someone has to be liable for someone else's mistakes. So uh, Amy Adams, you, you'll be subpoenaed as well. I really mean it that we're using the Waitangi Marae 
King's Bench Court as our court online. We have the authority and the jurisdiction of Admiralty Court Martial Law to use that marae on Kingi Tauroa's land and his authority. He's, that's his land and the government hasn't paid for it. They're still trying to settle with treaty settlements with a crooked Maori iwi authority and trusts. They're crooked, John Key. All of your government legislative acts that allowed you to run private businesses, private businesses through corporations and trusts, Pope Francis destroyed. So you're still using it. I'm using these in my court hearing online. When I finish putting these cases together for you, for the landowners of Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, you're liable. Each person is liable now under the new laws of the New World Order and the Vatican at this stage before that happens. I'm just warning you that we have the authority of King William IV and his flag of Admiralty since yours is destroyed by the Pope. All those laws and acts that you use in your parliament, you shouldn't be using. Now, that's one thing. The other thing, Mr John Key, is this. Your oath of office. You'll have to swear your oath of office, the same as the police have to swear their oath of office to the Queen or something else. Because, as far as I'm concerned, she's not the Queen of England, but Brussels. She's a conflict of interest herself at running trusts and corporations that the Pope destroyed. We are using King William's Admiralty for our business, our private business. That's where the laws came from in the first place that the Pope uses from Irish title. Okay, so that's the eight point star of the St. Patrick's Order. That's that history they're still using, as you see the badges on the Queen. Prince Charles, the Governor General Jerry Matapurai is wearing that eight point star of Irish authority. Now, I'm going to subpoena Jerry Matapurai Andrews into the Auckland District Court through Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. That's our court on that land. I'm saying, I'm making this statement quite clear to you before the court hearings. One by one, you'll be going through the court in Auckland, District Court, under the same Admiralty Court Martial Law. Okay, so that's my, my message to Amy Adams, who is responsible. We are holding you liable on this video. You'll be subpoenaed into the Auckland District Court through me and my barrister, Shannon uh, Withers, to face charges of what has happened with those tax havens and the crimes that are happening under the New Zealand Crimes Act 1961. I'll have all that online, on an online media trial. Trial by Facebook is acceptable in the High Court of Admiralty in London. They're picking this up. Everyone reading what I'm putting there is statements of fact that you have to defend yourself against whatever I say, me and my chief, King Itaurua, and his elders on Titi Marae, Waitangi, and Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. We had that hearing to open up that courthouse on the 15th of March 2016 this year. It's legal. It made our flag legal. It made our documents that I have online and all the uh, affidavits and statements legal. It's made that marae legal on our documents, on his land legal as well, okay, as private company, right? The Moai King William Trust.
private company. Against your private company, John Key, Waitangi National Trust. You get the bill. I'm billing you a trillion pounds on your head and each of your ministers in Parliament a trillion pound note on your head. We legalised it on the 15th of March 2016 inside the Waitangi Marae. We are running our business from there in that native court, John Key. So, one. You must swear your oath to something. You must swear your allegiance to something other than a high authority of King William IV and that flag that flies on that ship of Admiralty beside the Marae in the paddock on King Itaurua's land. You have not bought clear title to any land in New Zealand yet. You're still trying to settle yourself and your Maori land owners. They are not the original Moai Hapu landowners. They are Maori Iwi titles. That's your titles. That's nothing to do with our titles. Okay? Nothing to do with our titles. So I'm just saying, you have a problem now with me as private. John Wanoa in capitals is a private company. I'm allowed to use it on you, John Key, because we have the flag to say so. That's the statement of confidence that I have in King William IV and that eight point star. Right? That Jerry, uh, Jerry Montepra is wearing. So he's liable as well. You're all liable because you caused the fraud to be committed on these lands with that man from Katastan and all the other ones that have been named here in this country, including your company, John Key, there's three trillion pounds, uh, dollars, New Zealand dollars missing. The Navy, here I'm holding John Martin liable. All your names are liable, John Key, now, because I'm putting them through the Auckland District Court, along with the two land occupiers, owners, leases are up. All right, we had this out in on Waitangi Day, the 3rd, the 4th, the 5th and 6th, in Titi Marae with the chiefs. So I've made the statements right in front of them that we are now authenticating through the Waitangi Marae. Okay? And the King William IV flag. That's a contract, John Key. That flag is the Admiralty private contract that created all the mortgages right through the Commonwealth and America. King William the Fourth Acts of Parliament, 1838 and 37. Anyway, I just wanted to let you know I'm happy that I didn't have to take them dreaded pills. The government is, is, is administering that as well. I'm holding you liable, John Key, for what I'm doing in myself, damage everything in my life and everybody else's life with those dreaded pills and your pharmac company and your doctors. They are there to kill you. That's what I'm saying. They're there to poison you and that's what's been happening to me all this time. Why I got heart attacks and everything. That they won't listen to me and, and I'm telling them what's wrong. They go and say, you need a pacemaker. There was nothing wrong with my heart, John Key. There was nothing wrong with it. Okay? just proving on these machines in the gym that there was nothing wrong with it, right? And you wanted to make money out of me, not anymore. Anyway, uh, <coughs> to all our um, watchers and, and friends on Facebook, um, we're taking our next stage further now with um, um, charging baby debtor charging those politicians for running a sham business. They are only running their own private interests and private investment um, um, contracts. Once they start running private contracts, that becomes admiralty law. And they're doing it against 
the interests of taxpayers and citizens of New Zealand. So I'm saying to you people um, to watch what I do and once I do one person, those two landowners, James Pierce Brown and Simon Brent Roundtree on Cook Street, 77 Cook Street, you're in the racket as well. You're caught up. What happened is this. You, you've been caught um, with third parties that have assisted you to commit crimes in this country under the Crimes Act 1961. I've put it, listed out all your crimes and the police covered up your crimes from the last landowner, from the last landowner before that. Right? So it didn't matter how many times the property changes, it took the bad title right through. I'm in real estate, you two, and John Key. I should know what I'm doing. So, and I'm the native here to say anything about the land, on who's corrupting it. You, John Key, I'm holding you liable for everything that goes wrong in your government, making mistakes. You're not going to go and fetch them. No, we're going to charge you for breaking your own laws and committing crimes. Your ministers are committing crimes. I'm putting you all online so that everybody can see me doing the case online with your own laws and acts. Right? And it's up to you to defend yourself, John Key. You have to defend yourself with me in the court. You can't get away with it because I'm speaking for the King of England, the King of Commerce, the creditor here in this case, John Key. I'm the creditor with a pound note. We've legalised a pound note and the flag of Admiralty inside that marae where you're running your crooked business inside that marae with Jerry Matiparai. The Navy, it looks good on the face of it, but deep inside there's fraud going on right inside that marae. To us, that's an offence. You're, you've offended my chiefs up there I've been working with the 39 Marais from Otawa Marai, Uri Taita, and with um, Pohepa Epia from Natikura Marai on Matari Bay. Those two have been instrumental in bringing all the hapus together in their Marais, and it's their responsibility of that flag, John Key. They are the gatekeepers of that flag. It was put together by Ngāpū. I'm here as their legal advocate, native assessor and sheriff judge. Okay? One more time. I'm the native assessor, judge of Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. In a legal sense, the law of the land. John Key, you'll have to put your documents in front of mine online, in front of everybody, to prove who you are. You prove to me who you are. I've got my titles here, John Key, from Britain and also from history for this country. The founding documents of this country is not yours to say anything about this country and its origins. Oh, anyway, I'm saying this. You're, you're, you're the Prime Minister of every other person on this country making laws, institute laws, to govern what happens to other people who are using these lands. Now, your problem is this. You've elected people that make mistakes. You don't make mistakes with Moai. We're watching all the time. He's watching over everything. That's our memorial to God, truth. If you can't stand the truth, then you shouldn't be there. You shouldn't be running this country for us. You're only there in the interim as a caretaker government. We're here to boot you. We're here to boot you. We have a government in place to go in there and replace you. It's none of anybody's business. It's a private contract between us and the King of England and Westminster government. Okay? Nothing to do with anybody. This flag we have, the Confederation's flag, 
1835 Declaration of Independence flag, is a contract. And no one can be third party to that contract. When you come in and others break our law and tamper with our information, you become third party levy debtors. And that's what's happened with Cook Street. You're using our land fraudulently. Any land transactions, bank, uh, mortgages, loans, liens, all come out of that flag we have, King William IV Acts. So when you break it, you lose it. You can't, you, you'll never be able to stump up with your title against our title and a flag to go with it that's got this much information in it. So John Key, I'll say it like this. Amy Adams is in charge of the laws that you put her there that have got the tax side of things in trouble. She is liable because you put her there. She's liable due. You. you have libeled the Governor General and you've libeled each other. That's what's happened. And the Governor General has libeled the Queen. The other way around is the Queen has libeled because she's committed crimes that she's got other people with cases against her, including us, going to the World Court. John Key, I'm going to the World Court to take these cases against you all, but I'm going to do it online first. I'm going to, I'm going to do all the hard work online here in front of everybody, our witnesses. Everybody watching those sites, John, I got, I got two sites of you, John Key, with all the information of the fraud committed. Every fraud goes in there, and you can see there's enough to put you in jail for a long, long time, and that's where you're going to go, other than the hanging rope of King William IV. Yes. Right? So you've libeled each other. That's what I'm saying. One has libeled the other. The Queen has libeled... Jerry Mataparai. Jerry Mataparai is liable due. He's liable the Navy, Chief of Navy, John Martin. He's liable your whole government because he sold the Maori lands that belong to the Hapu, not the Iwi. It belongs to the Hapu and Moai. Right? Moai is Taihiju Memorial. That's our memorial in East Ireland is the memorial that's your Queen Victoria put into England in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court. Put our memorial, the Tahitian from my family in Mabu and Natipro and Tainui, put it in England to take our title in there. It's been put there for us, John Key. Says a lot about us and me. I'm speaking for that Maui and the Moai here that your governments have put into the war memorial. That Moai head cut his head off, body, and put it in there. That's my title, John Key. That's my memorial. That's my history. Founding documents of this country, the doctrines of discovery of New Zealand and Pacific Islands. All right? So that's that title. That's one memorial standing in England and New York, Washington DC, Chile, and uh, here in New Zealand, and Brussels, and France, and Belgium. That's our title, John Key. It belongs to me and my people. Okay? The Hapu, not the Iwi. The uh, Iwi is a creation of your crown and your private corporations. Right? Your private corporations and our private corporation, John Key, is Maui King William Trust. Bill Detta, your trust company, Waitangi National Trust, gets the bill. You're getting the bill, the 970 million trillion trillion pound note. You share it with the Pope, the Vatican Church City, the City of London, Rothschild Banks, and the Queen and her Buckingham Palace and Washington DC and the federal state government, you all get the bill of 970 million trillion trillion pound note, the green one with Jamie and I on it.
that's real, John Key. We've legalised it that you didn't know that we were doing in the Waitangi Marae. Now, I've been told no one can stop me from going in there, John Key, because it's got my title in there. It's got our carvings in there. It's got our wairua in there. It's got our wood in there. It's got everything of the hapus in there, the wood in the building, John Key. We confiscated it, all right? We've, we've made all these tentatively arrangements to confiscate everything from you. As soon as I get Cook Street sorted with my barrister and he's waiting, or I'm waiting for him to bring Natalie Flower G. Brown back from Solomon Islands. It's taking a while. It's taking a while for, for, for them to bring her back, subpoenaed back into the court by the Judge Collins, and to face me. All right? You're going to have to face me because I've got titles. And there's nothing you can do about it other than to comply with the British military and Westminster Parliament, our partners. They are our legal partners. This is a message for you there, uh, David Cameron. I'm saying this because I've said it for a long, long time to you that I'm holding the title here with my chiefs to this country. And you are our partners over there. You're not supposed to play up with what you're doing with the Queen and EU Parliament. And Alex Salmon uh, going to pull Scotland out of Britain if Britain pulls out of the EU Parliament. You see the racket going on in there. And here we are with the flag that'll bust you all because the king is the ruler of that commonwealth government of the world. Okay? So, one more time, John Key. Your government is instrumental in the Panama tax haven and scam business. Your private companies, there's 14 police private companies operating forward businesses here in Auckland. Right? That's, I'm accusing you, I'm accusing everyone online, right in front of the world. They are my witness. I'm accusing your minister, Amy Adams, I put her on Facebook, of what she, I'm holding her to for allowing those crooks to come here and run their tax haven businesses from here and make lots of millions of dollars. We're going to carve all that money back into the King's Bench Court in Waitangi through this Auckland District Court. I am demanding that we have one of the courthouses in the Auckland District Court opened up for the King's Bench Court and me to conduct our court hearings in there. I'll take the job, John Key. I can get the British to give me a judge from there to bring inside that court to run the King's Bench Court for me. Right? Until we put Ernest Augustus V, King Ernest Augustus of Britain, UK. He's, he's the King of Britain, UK. To take command for this through this King's Bench Court here before I go to England and set things up there and rescue Britain with our flag. To you, Ernest Augustus, watching this video, I'm saying to you, I'm nominating you into Westminster Parliament to take over the King's role, the King of England, from King William IV by default of the Queen exiting Westminster Parliament for the EU Parliament is now conflicted and her position, tenure, forfeited to you because of her treasonous acts against the interests of the British people and us, their partners, and the British military, our partners as well. I want the British military down here on Rangitukia land block, quick, smart. Um, um, the British um, military, I want you here to come and protect what is ours between here and Britain, Westminster. And we're going to open up a new department in the county of Plymouth on King William's estate land for 
King Ernest Augustus to be installed there. Okay, that's what I'm saying on this video tonight. I was going to make a little short one uh, to my friends, but it's gone into this. It's just to announce at this stage how I'm feeling. At the moment, I'm not short breath. I'm feeling pretty good to make this video and um, uh, just to put a message out to the public watching me that um, I'm holding these people liable that I name. Anyone I name online is a threat against our national security of the people, citizens, taxpayers of New Zealand because they are running a threat against our land interests, our economy, our investment interests by looking after their own financial interests and using the law, the fraud law, the, all the laws, acts for their fraud business. I'm calling you fraud criminal John Key and Amy Adams and Jerry Mataparai and who else? Um, um, Chris Francis, Attorney General. I can name a few more, but I'm just saying. You first, John Key, then uh, the two landowners on Cook Street, then Jerry Mataparai. That's the order to subpoena my instructions to my barrister, um, Vulcan Chambers, Shannon Rivers, barrister. Okay? There's one for you, Shannon. I want to subpoena John Key into the court because I want him wrapped up. I want him liable and pay for his mistakes with his assets and his house and his bank and his everything. He's going to have to forfeit the whole lot to the King's Bench Court. You don't muck around with the King and his laws right? and the native on these lands. So that's all, that's all I want to say. I'm going to call it night and rest up and get up at 3 in the morning and carry on. So, bye for now. See you later. Have a good evening.